letting you drive it again. What's going on guys, Adam or ADH and we are back here with another video guys. Alright, so, I know I haven't been posting much lately, but whatever. Happy New Year, you know, it's 20, 2022, I didn't think I was going to make it this far, but I'm 2020, it's 2022 and I'm 23, so here we are. Uh, still got the Audi, obviously, I've done like a few little minor modifications that I didn't record because I didn't, I didn't think it was worth recording. Um, but I'll show you guys once we step outside the car. Right now, I'm going to Josiah's house, I'm going to pick him up real quick and then we're going to go and um, wash my car because I haven't washed it in like forever since it's been raining in California for like the past month or something. I haven't really been washing my rim, my, my sorry, my wheels are very dirty. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to wash them because at the self car wash, honestly, like they don't have, I just scrub them with the whatever brush they got, but honestly, I just rather wash them at home. But I do like the pressure washer that they got, obviously at the car wash with the soap and all that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a little light wash because I'm sure it's gonna rain like in the next week also. But it's just really, really dirty. I'll show you guys outside the car right now. Right now it's currently like 57 degrees out here. So it's very, very good weather for my vehicle because you know, superchargers love that cold weather shit. You know us supercharged boys that like the, the, the cold weather because of the boost weather, you know what I'm saying? Or the turbos, but yeah, it's looking like a pretty good day, very, very beautiful day. After that tonight, it's gonna be cold. Hit up one of my friends. Um, we're actually gonna be um, racing. We're gonna go down to Mexico. And he has a motorcycle. I believe it's a Harley Davidson. Or I think he got a new bike, but I don't know which one he's gonna bring. But yeah, he has a, uh, a motorcycle. And we're gonna race, and I wanna see how my Audi does against that car. Obviously, um, still right now, I haven't done anything new to my car. Um, like engine power wise um, so still just have the 93 tune called air intake uh, making around 400 wheel horsepower I got the upper pulley um, I think that's pretty much it like the main things um, everything else is like you know cosmetic and all that but I, I haven't really done much to it still so yeah we're gonna see how a 400 wheel horsepower 4,000 something pound car does against uh, I think he said it's like 60 70 wheel horsepower I'm not sure to be honest 90 maybe I don't know but that's to one wheel on a motorcycle and it doesn't seem like a lot but it, it's a lot because you know those weigh like 400 pounds or something I don't, I don't even know how much they weigh but they weigh close to nothing so pretty scared imagine getting gapped by a 40 60 horsepower um, motorcycle sounds kind of bad but you know whatever but yeah right now let's get this car washed because it's dirty as fuck I haven't washed it in forever I love the downshifts on this car, but honestly, um, what I need to do is I need to get a pop and bang tune or something so it could sound really, really cool when I'm when I'm downshifting. You know, pop and bang tunes sound pretty cool, but not the ridiculous ones because you know there's there's like some super ridiculous ones that just sound completely fake. I mean, obviously, you know they're still well, they don't sound fake. They just sound like they're like it's too much. Like it's like pop, 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 and it's like almost the car's literally at zero miles an hour and it's still popping. Like what the fuck? Like it mainly BMWs. No hate to BMWs. Some BMWs are nice, but some of them just don't have the right amounts of pops and bangs and all that. It's just they just overdo it, and it's just it's it's not good at all. But yeah, I want to get a pops and bangs tune. I know um, Integrated Engineering just released their E85 um, tune. Well, like probably like two months ago or something. Um, which is compatible with my car. All I need to get is a, a heat exchanger, and then I can run the Stage One E85, which will give me around. Their claim numbers would be 450, 449, 48, or something like that wheel horsepower on Stage One on E85, E65 to E85, I think something like that. But it's pretty fucking good considering that if I were to go 104 octane on APR's tune or even I think eight integrated engineering, I don't know what there is at, but it's like around 425 wheel, right? But 104 octane is you know super expensive if you're actually using the race gas. So who the who the fuck wants to pay for that shit, right? So E85 is cheaper out here, but honestly right now with the gas prices in California, E85 I think I paid for it yesterday for like uh, four, four fifteen or something like that. Four fifteen for eighty five. When I remember, it used to be like one ninety or something. Yeah, it's pretty crazy out here. 
but you know that, that's what happens when you live in California and all the other stuff in the world happening right now that I don't get into because I'm not into that but yeah once you, once you get that and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the the e to five tune and the transmission tune at the same time um, it's pretty expensive not gonna lie you know I don't, I don't I don't know about spending all that money at the same time but probably will just because in the long run I'm gonna make my car fastest car anyway the fastest a7 at least um, but you know that's what we gotta do I think it's like seventeen hundred dollars for both transmission and e85 but I heard it's definitely worth it I haven't seen any videos on it yet on YouTube about anyone think they're fast. The thing is I'll cap them, but not here because it's not Mexico. But but yeah I heard it's really fast and then it's just stage one barely 450 wheel. So stage two dual pulley I'm hoping I mean I'm assuming they're probably gonna be like around ah uh, shit I don't even know. I hope like 500 to be honest. I think they could push it to 500 and then you know with other very legal modifications like um uh what do you call those down pipes uh, test pipes, you know, no cats and all that. I think it'll be pretty cool. I think it'll be probably like the best. Um, you can squeeze like a good like 40 wheel horsepower without the cats when you don't have the cats, because because you know all the restrictions the cats give you and all that. All right, guys. So let me show you exactly how dirty my car is, because it's pretty fucking dirty. All right, so if we take a look right here, these rims are hella dirty. Let me see if I can just. Look how dirty that is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not pretty bad, but yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. It's just dusty all over. Still got that scratch right there. If you guys don't know what happened, don't ask me. But all completely dirty. About to get this clean though. The rims, probably not as much because these scrubbers aren't really that good. But the fake modification that I did was see these right here, this hole right here. So you just take this off right here, and then you just remove that little panel right there unfortunately you can't remove that i'm sure there is a way but you probably have to cut it out and shit so do that so more airflow goes in but also that means that i know i've been lagging it with the intake but i could just get the intake now make it longer with my little custom intake that, that i'm gonna get and then it could actually get some air so it could actually be colder air you know especially in the summer because you know how hot it'd be getting but yeah that's pretty much all it does all clean now um i did leave some water i mainly just let her dry the windows or the yeah the windows and the mirrors just because that's what you know can probably get stained it's supposed to it says it's um what does it say it says spot free so right now we gotta go oh i'm in a spot right there it's okay um so right now we're gonna dry pretty fast and dry, air dry it if you know what i'm saying um but other than that i just leave that water there it looks a lot cleaner obviously but 
I do need to do it in depth, full wash at my house. All right, guys. So right now I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends. Um, he wanted to to do some runs. Uh, he has a motorcycle, Harley Davidson. Pretty cool. I would never want to buy a motorcycle. Like I really want to buy one, honestly, but I don't because I'm I'm just so scared of like falling off and and dying to be honest or like losing something like a like a leg or something like that over a motorcycle i wouldn't want to do that but i've always wanted like a sport bike or something but either way i love motorcycles i just i just won't buy one but anyway he hit me up and he wanted to do some runs um he's into like modding his motorcycle and all that so if you guys are into motorcycles you guys will probably know more than me but i'll show you guys around his motorcycle it looks um i've seen it i saw it a couple months ago but i don't know what what he's done to it now but it looks pretty cool. It's Harley Davidson. I mean, Harley Davidsons are cool overall. Um, I haven't driven. I mean, I haven't raced in like forever, to be honest. Like the last time I raced was probably like, what's it, like five months ago. And I don't even, I don't know. I just haven't been wanting to like run my car like that. As you can see, like sometimes, you know, I haven't been posting that much just because I haven't had content yet. Um, but I'm gonna get back into it. So we're gonna start off with this race, and hopefully, you know, I'm not embarrassed. Hopefully, I'm not embarrassed by losing and getting gapped by a motorcycle. But in my defense, motorcycles are a lot lighter. So just saying, you know, if, if he wins, you know, that's why. It's because I'm 4,000, 4,300 pounds, 4,400 pounds, whatever, and I have my spare tire, so like I'm full weight. But either way, he's gonna gap me. I know he is. It's okay. Um, we might do some digs. We might do some like 20, 40 rolls, maybe 60. I don't know. Um, but it's all gonna be shot on my GoPro. We're actually gonna drive down to Mexico, so it is a like three-hour drive. Um, but you know, we'll get there. Or yeah, it's like a three-hour drive. We'll get there, no problem, and then we'll just run it out down there. You know, be a little bit safe. All right, so I gotta put my heated seat on. You know, even though I'm raised, gotta get put the heated steering wheel. You know, you can race in luxury, be comfortable in race. That that 80, 80 wheel horsepower sounds like nothing, literally nothing. Like I, I would gap it, right? Like I could give him like a 10 car head start and I would gap him in a quarter mile or something. But it's a bike, it weighs fucking 500 pounds. I honestly, I honestly thought that they, they weighed like a thousand or some shit, but they weigh 500. And that's, that's crazy. But we'll see how it goes. freeway on the street It's not bad for stock. It's not bad for stock. That's good. Yeah. Right now? All right. I'll do it.
Dude, I, I don't know how a dig on a motorcycle. I wouldn't be able to do a dig on a motorcycle. I, I really couldn't. Look how cool he looks though. You know how cool you look on a motorcycle? Fucking. You just look like a badass. Fucking helmet and shit. Just chilling. Um, but yeah, like I said, dude, like. A dig on a motorcycle, it's it's crazy. Cause if you have, you know, if you have power and shit, you're gonna slip. And if you slip or and start tailing or some shit, and you fall, that shit's gonna fucking like you literally harm yourself if you fuck up. In the car, like you know, in the Mustang videos that you see, if they if they um what do you call it? If they're like going for a crowd or some shit, you know, like they always do, and they crash, you know, they'll be fine. They're they're fine. The, I mean, the car's fucked up and shit, but most of the time they're fine, just because you know you got all this metal around you and all this shit protecting you but on a motorcycle you fuck up you're 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 hurting yourself somehow you or you're gonna drop the motorcycle on you so i give them a lot of respect for even wanting to launch it and anybody that launches like motorcycles or races motorcycles is just you gotta have a lot of trust in yourself i think he's been ri um, riding for like a, quite a while i don't know exactly how many years um but but yeah but it, it's a complete stock 80 wheel horsepower motorcycle I like it, and I, I really thought it was a Harley, but apparently it's an Indy, I think it's an Indy. little drive through a little canyon I guess you could say looks pretty pretty cute pretty uh, somewhere you would take your girlfriend with too um, just be careful for truck drivers like these that are driving in the middle for no fucking reason and honestly like I said his bike is just it's stock and like you know it's keeping up I got him by like a car or probably two I, I didn't really check that much but um once he starts modding it, I forgot to ask him like exactly what he's gonna do to it. Sorry, just a little pull. Um, I forgot um, to ask him exactly what he's gonna do to it, but I'm sure he's gonna I'm, I'm sure he's gonna mod it like engine wise and all that. And he'll get to like a good hundred horsepower, which is it, now that I'm thinking about it, it's a small engine, so it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, my car is running good. Thankfully, um, I haven't been running it too much. But it's running perfect, no leaks, you know, knock on wood, whatever, no leaks, no, no real problems. You want, you want to head to the gas station again? Just yeah, go back we'll to the Because we already did a dig. Were you yeah. ready on that dig? Kind of, were you ready on the oh, dig? Yeah, dude, I fucking yeah. tailed. Like, okay. Yeah, I got kind of scared. You tailed? Yeah, oh, little shit. Little oh, little fuck bit. no, dude. I can't do that. You got balls, yeah. man. Ooh. I can't do that shit. Okay. I'm down to do what 20 roll. Going down Riverside. A 20 rule? Yeah. Alright, for sure. If there's no cars behind us. What's up? If there's no cars behind oh, us. Okay. Or, I mean, if you want, I mean, I don't care. I'll slow down traffic. One time we slowed down the freeway to like 20 miles an hour and oh. shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Right. That wasn't me, though. I didn't slow down the freeway to 20 miles an hour. That wasn't me. <laughs> on a 20 roll but I was gonna gap him but but he he stayed in front of me though that was good damn um he uh hold on you wanna do it again Woo! Damn! On a 
20 roll he stays with me. That's crazy. That's cool. Damn, so on a 20 roll, you guys saw he was right next to me. That, that's crazy. Okay, so on a 40 roll, I just take off, but I think they have a lot. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just since it's lighter, you could just take off on a 20 roll better. Maybe it has more torque at 20. I don't know how the motorcycle engines work really, but that's cool as hell. Um, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to ride it again then. Um, on, during the day, probably, um, just so we can see better and you know all that. But that's cool. That, that's cool, and it looks cool when he's shifting too. Cause like he, he was like, rrr, rrr. I hope I got it to be honest. I really do, cause that, that looked pretty cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's, I like it. 40. Oh, you wanna do 20? 30?